Looks like that telecommunications bill of 1996 ain't working out for Hollywood like they thought. Now available in paperback and e-readers, John Haynes, 1987. Learn lessons about life and teenage love in the 1980s in this coming-of-age John Haynes story. Get your copy of John Haynes 1987 in paperback and e-readers at Amazon.com and online booksellers everywhere. Steven Spielberg, Martin Scorsese, and Paul Thomas Anderson made an emergency call to Warner Brothers Discovery's CEO, David Zaslav. And the reason why they made an emergency conference call to Warner Brothers Discovery's CEO, David Zaslav, is because they heard that David Zaslav had basically laid off most of the staff for the cable channel, Turner Classic Movies. Now, Turner Classic Movies was a channel created by Ted Turner to be a channel for people to be able to watch the films of Hollywood's Golden Age, which took place from about the 1930s to the late 1950s. And all of these films on this channel are there for educational purposes, I believe, to teach people about the craft of screenwriting and show them how films tell a great and compelling story. And sadly, David Zaslav doesn't see the value of Turner Classic Movies, and I believe he doesn't see the value of Turner Classic Movies because he, as one of these executives who was coming from the Discovery Channel, and again, the Discovery Channel is an educational network, which is ironic because he's not really showing how he's learned much about the whole business of entertainment. And again, with this whole with this decision, it shows me the complete failure of the telecommunications bill of 1996 and how that law has destroyed American media because the telecommunications law of 1996 led to all of the corporate acquisitions of many channels and with those corporate acquisitions people do not understand the value of these channels no they see them as assets the way David Zaslav did when he went out here and laid off much of the Turner Classic movies um, staff he did not see the historical value of this channel and because he didn't see the historical value of this channel he wound up laying off most of the staff and this is going to do real serious damage as related to preserving film which is one of the things that David Zaslav says he wanted to do because this runs diametrically opposed to trying to preserve film because if there is no channel where people can see classic movies then people will not have a place that they can go to for them and they won't have a reason to care about them now Turner classic movies goes out here and they do a lot of work towards educating people about how important um, these classic movies are and this channel also is a place for supposed to be for filmmakers so this is something David Zaslav says he wants um, Warner Brothers to be a place for filmmakers but how can it be a place for filmmakers if you're going to take away Turner classic movies a channel that is based that is based on the greatest work of filmmakers again I've looked at David Zaslav's actions and it looks like he's running on emotion desperate as related to trying to save Warner Brothers but his decisions are running to the detriment of Warner Brothers and it's running detrimental to Warner Brothers because he made a gamble on the Flash movie as related to the test screenings unfortunately the Flash wound up failing and with the Flash winding up failing he's going out here making all sorts of decisions that really are not really going to help the business because you can't make Warner Brothers a studio for filmmakers without Turner Classic Movies because the Turner Classics Movies channel is not only show, going to be showing movies of the golden age, I believe. I believe in the future it may show future classics and those future classics can be movies like The Godfather, Saturday Night Fever, movies like E.T., movies like 1989's Batman, 1988's Beetlejuice. I mean, these films are getting up in age, and with these films getting up in age, they need a place where they can be seen for the classics that they are, and David Zaslav is not critically thinking about this. No, he's so caught up in his feelings as related to 
the failure of the Flash and trying to navigate the $42 billion in debt that Warner Brothers Discovery is in from its merger, that he's not critically thinking about trying to build a bridge with filmmakers who are de you desperately need in order to preserve the history of film, which is what Ted Turner was trying to do when he created Turner Classic Movies. Because what Ted Turner was looking to do was trying to preserve these classic films so that they would not be lost like many of the silent films of the silent era. Because one of the great tragedies is we lost so many silent films and we lost all of that cinematic history that was made as related to those movies. And I would hate to see that happen as related to many of the films of the late 20th century, such as Star Wars and many of the other great classic films. I would like to see many of these films get preserved, and I would like to see the history and the story of those films and how they got made preserved so that future generations can see these later 20th century classics for the classic movies that they are. And again, Turner Classic Movies is an essential channel as related to television and even to streaming because these classic movies are not just movies that are entertainment. They are snapshots of history, snapshots of a period of time, and these films basically are like literal history even though they are fictional stories. They take us to back to a period in time and give us a picture of that period of time. That is what I used to get when I used to watch the channel decades. I mean, when I was watching the channel decades, it was giving me a snapshot of what life was like during those times with these old TV shows and historical um, references as related through the Through the Decades um, series. And that's what we would get as related to Turner Classic Movies. And that history that I saw on Decades was very helpful to me as I was writing my book, The Man Crisis, because it allowed me to see what life was like through history as related to the state of men. And this is what classic movies really would also help as related to that kind of research. And again, these films have great stories behind them and future generations need to see the stories behind these movies to see what made these movies great in their time and what makes them classics in the future. So David Zaslav, again, he really needs to think critically before he goes out here laying people off because some of the people on these jobs do important work. And when it comes to Turner Classic Movies, they are doing a job of preserving the history of many of our greatest films of the 20th century and will do a great job of preserving the future movies that will be classics that we consider to be entertainment today, like Star Wars, like Saturday Night Fever, like Superman the movie. These are all movies that will be on Turner Classic Movies at some time, because as our audience gets older and the baby boomers start to retire and Gen X starts to enter into its senior years, these are going to be the classic movies of another generation that will be added on to the classic movies of a previous generation. So I look at Turner Classic Movies being in this situation as, again, people not being connected to the history of film. And that is one of the most unfortunate things as related to the telecommunications bill of 1996. The telecommunications bill of 1996 made it where entertainment went from being art to becoming a commodity. And as corporations went out here looking to commodify entertainment, they see it as disposable assets. And again, that's not something we really want for film because the whole thing of cinema is that it is an art form and it is an art form that needs to be preserved. And while Warner Brothers Discovery is having its financial issues, it really needs to look out for movies because again, if you want to preserve filmmaking and respect filmmakers to incentivize them to make projects for you, you need to have a venue where the films will be appreciated and respected. And that's not something that Hollywood is doing right now. And it's not doing it because again, they are just caught up in trying to make money. And this tunnel vision has them completely messed up 
just like they were back in the late 60s when the, when the studios were on the brink of bankruptcy due to big budget musicals, big budget epic movies, big budget um, war movies, and they went out here and and made all of this these big budget movies and were struggling until they were on the brink of bankruptcy and that's when they wanted to go to black audiences to try to save their studios and that's another problem with these studios they don't want to go out here and let black creators go out here and create new original movies that would be classics they don't want black people to be able to create films like this and again, this is why Warner Brothers is in the dire straits that it's in, because they have marginalized and minimized black people as they've gotten this tunnel vision for their superhero movies. And sadly, superhero movies aren't saving the day. They are becoming the kryptonite that's crippling the industry. And they're crippling the industry because the, the, if you have studios getting, getting ready to get rid of their history, trying to save themselves by making more superhero movies, then it really shows how out of touch David Zaslav is, and he's no different than the previous Warner Brothers CEO. And again, sadly, with, with these studios, it's looking like they really don't have the people in charge and most that have a vision. And sadly, most of these people who are in, in charge now are so insular or they have little experience as related to the business of entertainment that they're getting ready to take Hollywood down a road that I saw back in the late 60s and the 70s that almost led to the implosion of Hollywood. And sadly, that's what's looking like it's happening right now as related to Warner Brothers, as related to these, this just ridiculous decision as related to Turner Classic Movies. Now, David Saslav says that after the call to Steven Spielberg and Martin Scorsese, that he was going to not tell, reassure them as related to not messing up Turner Classic Movies, but these actions that he's making just show how he's just not really a good leader and he's not really showing how he's concerned as related to filmmaking because everything with him is about money but there are some things that are worth more than money and that is a channel like Turner Classic Movies and giving people an opportunity to see actual cinema in an age where all we see are superheroes on the big screen all the time. Now, if you want to check out my screen, my first screenplay, All About Marilyn, you can find that screenplay on Amazon.com and Kindle right now by clicking the link in the description box. And if you want to check out my first television series, All About Nikki, the fabulous first season, you can get all 13 episodes of that series on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. And you can also pick up other great SJS Direct books like the Spinsterella Trilogy of Spellbound, the legendary Mad Matilda and Spinsterella, the Isis series, the Esteem series, the John Haynes series, novels like The Temptation of John Haynes, Eternal Night, The Thetas, and A Recipe for Success. And you can find my comics like John Haynes at Death's Door on lulu.com. And you can find all of the, the books that I talked about on amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find them at other online booksellers like Smashwords, the iBookstore, and Google Play. And if you want to see me talking about the entertainment industry, you can send a donation to the Patreon, the PayPal, or the Cash App to help me stay on the air. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and Kindle, all about Marilyn. Learn all about the struggles of a faded former teen sitcom star in this absolutely fabulous five-star screenplay. Get all about Marilyn in paperback and Kindle on Amazon.com today. Support Black-owned and Black-operated digital broadcast media, www.niceradionetwork.com. Nice Radio Network, broadcasting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.